Hey, what's going on guys, Xtreme's one here, and today I'm going to show you the Nuketown 2025 Easter Egg. Now, um, I'm not going to tell you about it yet, I'm not going to spoil it for you guys, but what you'll need is any gun, and you need to shoot the mannequin's head, uh, I'm not sure if it's under a certain time, uh, someone said that it was. It has to be under 60 seconds, but I did it over there and it still worked. So if you can remember in the original Nuketown, if you shot all the mannequin heads in a, under 60 seconds with your teammates, um, you would get uh, unlock an Easter egg song. So basically, they've done the same thing with this, except for it's only different and it's better and it's a bit similar to you know Call of the Dead arcade game mode, uh, which you would get in the zombies menu. A uh, bit similar to that. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was that. I can't remember the exact name, but it was the arcade version of Zombies. So yeah, it's quite similar to that. Uh, same approach, but just different method of getting there. So make sure you get all the mannequins head. Note that. In each game, the mannequins move, so it'll be in different places. Some could be outside the map in tricky places. Uh, mine were all in, I think, a convenient place. So yeah, um, it was pretty easy. Just check both spawns and make sure you get them in the correct place in the head. Just take your time with it. Don't rush. I think you got to do it in nine within 90 seconds. It's definitely not 60 because I did it over that. Uh, if you look on the time timer, it's been like one minute and six, eight, nine, ten, ten seconds somewhere between there. So yeah, once you do that, you're gonna have to go back downstairs. Um, I think I've got a few more mannequins left to shoot. So you shoot them and then you need to go back to the middle of the map and this is where the best bit happens. You're going to have to hold X here and you get to actually play a game. Uh, I think there's like three or four games and you can press start to play and press LB or RB for the previous or next game which is absolutely brilliant. Treyarch put so much effort just into a map. This is definitely not edited, you guys can try it yourself. Um, I did this on my second attempt, I read it on a forum, so uh, I want you guys to try it out yourself. And I was just wondering why there was TV, they can't just leave it there without having an easter egg. So I think it's absolutely amazing. Uh, hopefully um, you guys can do this at home. It, it It's not too hard like the other one where you have to get it under 60 seconds, because I've never actually done the one on uh, Black Ops, but I have done the one on Black Ops 2. So yeah guys, this was Xfusions 1 showing you the easter egg on Nuketown 2025, the multiplayer map on Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Xfusions 1 and I'm out. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening. Peace.